Hey. Hello. Hi, hey. I can't hear you. Can, can you hear me? I can hear you, sir. Um, can you see me? I can't see you yet. Okay. Hey, there you are. Yeah, there I am. How's it going? Good, good. Nice good. to meet you. Nice I'm to Tony. meet you. Nice. Tony, nice. good to meet you, Tony. Jabari. Jabari, yep. Mr. Shabazz. Yes, sir. Yep. Ha Thank have you. you. Have you seen my channel? Have you watched anything I've on seen it? I've seen a few videos on there. I've seen a few videos on there, and I do like your style. I like how. And you um, still want to come on? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I feel good when I watch your channel. Nice, yeah. nice. All right. So, Tony the Movie Guy talking to Mr. Jabari Shabazz. Yes, sir. You're a featured extra in Correct. Block Party 2022. Not Dave Chappelle's block party. No, no. Um, I did see that on um, online when I researched the title. I did see that come up a few times. So, no, uh, totally different. I Usually I go to the movie theaters and I talk to people. You know, I, I position myself like if the movie's starting at 12 and it's two hours, I make sure I'm there at 2 o'clock, you know, like when the movie's coming out. I grab somebody, <laughs> get a review. But they dropped the ball on this one. Uh Hmm. There's a theater in New Jersey, and and okay. it wasn't like it wasn't like a big release like the Avengers or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. And they, they went ahead. They made a mistake, and they they, you know, in the uh, in the show times, they put Dave Chappelle's Block Party, 2005, 12 o'clock. I says, what are you? What are you? You trying to kill this movie? Are you kidding? Wow. No, I wish I was. Wow. And you know, That's I like. Yeah. So you go ahead. I have a couple of questions, but you, you go right ahead. The floor is yours. Oh, well, thank you very much. Th thank welcome. you very much. Yeah, um, I understood that it, it was quite a limited release. Um, I was lucky to uh, see that there was plenty of showtimes where I'm from. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Um, the movie was actually shot in Grand Rapids, um, which is just about a couple hours um, outside of Detroit. Right. Um, but it was just it was a it was a great experience, you know, um, so I'm really grateful how I came into it because I wasn't expecting anything like it. Um, I was eager to look for work and I'm always available for work as an extra. So um, I submitted um, that week as soon as I got the email from the company that I've been with for the past few years. And um, they wanted to bring me on and just uh, like I want to say like a week later after me agreeing to it, we were on set um, immediately. Immediately, um, I started having fun as far as even like um, when, when you go to when you go like and do I forget what the formal name is, but they go and they um, I think it's orientation or it's somewhat of an orientation where they come take down your information, right. do financials and all that. Um, they fed us. Um, we had hot meals three times throughout the day. So getting breakfast early in the morning, like um we were either having to be on set at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. So getting up that early and then just, you know, being uh, given meals too, like as soon as that, it was nice. Um, like I said, hot meals three times a day. Um, it was just in a local park there in Grand Rapids, um, Martin Luther King Park, which I think was kind of um, coincidental for like the, the movie and then the, the, um, the purpose that's celebrated within the movie, Juneteenth. June. So I thought they called the first. Great. They call. Yeah. I'm sorry. They call it the first. That's how they marketed the uh, marketed it. The first Juneteenth family comedy, which is nice. Yeah. Yep. It, it was. It was like very colorful and vibrant. I um, an open set and very diverse. So those things alone just attracted me to uh, being on set and just want to give my best um, as an extra or just as a you know in in whatever respect there that I was it was just you know it was great to be able to do that have you been in anything else um I I've been in a I've been in a few films um actually this would be the first one that I second one that I see myself on um but I've I've been and done extra work throughout the years um I was in Batman versus Superman um there was another film shot in Detroit called Have a Little Faith um, that was, I want to say, around 2011. I think that was my first time that I did something like that. That right. was pretty cool. Um, and I've been in a few things here and there. Man, that sounds like a lot of fun. 
I, uh, yeah, I, that's, that's something I want to, I want to do. How did you, uh, you, how did you get into it? I mean, like, like your first one, like um, would you do commercials or anything like that or. Um, yep. It was an advertisement, you know, um, I don't quite remember how I came across it, but it was um, some type of local public publication that said, Hey, we're looking for extras in Detroit. If you want to be in this movie. Um, so I said, party? sure. Let me, you know. Um, no, I think this was for um, Have a Little Faith. And the okay. same thing happened with Batman versus Superman. I just saw it in the local news, like, without even looking. So I, um, I was like, that sounds cool. I like movies and stuff. I want to uh, – someday I want to, you know, have a career in the film industry. So why not let me check this out? This is something I've always kind of wanted to do and be a part of. So, right. Um, I just signed up for the publication. And, um, I think it was – Batman vs. Superman is, the, is when I first met the company Real Style Online. Those are the guys that I've been with like, for several years. So they put me through Black Party. They just took my information when I went um, in 2014 uh, to be a part of Batman vs. Superman. They took my and said, hey, you know what? We'll keep your inf information if you want to you know, be a part of something else in the future. Your connection is getting a little. Uh... Oh. Let's see. Let me see here am i freezing and then talking or is it like just you're good now smoking? you're good now you're good okay. now yeah i was saying I, i'm with real style online um that's the company that i actually just retained my information the very first time i've ever been on a movie set um, they took my picture, they took some headshots, um, and saved my contact information. And they just said, hey, um, whenever we're looking for something, um, looking for people to do certain roles, we'll, we'll, we'll email you. And so every, every time they email me, I check it out. Um, if I fit the description or if I'm available or if I even just want to do it, um, I submit photos or whatever they require at the time, which is typically just photos, updated right. photos. Like. And then... Um, I'm just fortunate to be able to just do that like it um, easily throughout the years. It's like, it's very laid back. So they can hit me up with any time. They actually, Black Mafia family, um, you know, it's popularly known as BMF, if you've heard of it, on Stars, On on the Stars Network? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you um, know what? Yeah, I have. By, yeah, produced yeah. by 50 Cent. Um, right, right. And the director is Tasha Smith. Um, she's worked with Tyler Perry and lots of um, lots of famous people. Um, so it, it was actually really cool. I got in on BMF through them as well. So like a lot of a lot of um, big titles, they um, they email me. They just email local people because the company is locally based. And so if I if I'm available, I jump on board and I've been thankful to have the opportunities that I have had. Uh, so would I. What kind of a work day was it? You said six or seven in the morning. Until um, when? Yes. So, oh, um, overtime. Like every day was literally overtime hours. So um, the latest we ran, I want to say, um, was from maybe 6, 45 a.m. Um, into 6, six 7 o'clock at night. So like 12 hour, 13 hour days. That's so, a long day. Yeah, it is. Uh, how many scenes are you in? Like, and, and for how long total? Um, I gauge, I want to say my uh, screen time was about maybe a good solid two, three minutes. Um, for me, that, I'm sad about that. Like, I, um, I would see myself here and there. And then um, there was like even a certain part where I wasn't expecting to see myself. Actually got Your really connection again. Your connection. Uh -oh. I'm sorry. That's right. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm going to say two to three minutes of screen time, and then it was just, you know, some of the stuff uh, that the capture was unexpected um, to, to see myself in, so that was, uh, that was a blast. Yeah. Did you get to meet all the big guys? Uh, John Amos is in it. Phase on Love. I don't call it Phase on Love. I didn't even directly. I've seen him past. Your connection. Just, uh, I'm sorry, your connection again. No, it's okay. No, I didn't even know. I didn't even know. 
I'm not getting you. I'm not getting you. Okay. All right, go ahead. Try it again. Um, there I met are. the lead actress. Yeah, I met the lead actress, uh, Antoinette Robertson. And um, I met Lunell, the comedian. Lunell. She um, was in Ball Rat. Yep. Yeah. Terrific. <laughs> yep. She was great. So um, I met uh, I, I met quite a few of the principal actors. John Amos from Good Times. I didn't I didn't get a chance to uh, meet with him directly. No. Th that would have been great, right? Yeah. He yeah. was like the biggest deal there, right? Man. I mean, as far as um, you know, as being around. Yeah, it, it it was pretty crazy. Um, because again, it was um a lot of the everything that happened was a lot of um unexpected things. Like I I didn't I would have never expected him to be there. Um, even the actress from Girlfriends, Golden Brooks. Right. Um, if you're familiar with her work, um, she still films and everything. So that was actually really cool to to see her there in person too. The like, guy would the guy would have liked to meet is a uh, phase on love. He was in Friday and Elf. He worked with Vince yeah. Vaughn. Yeah, he's, he's so funny to me. I, I would, yeah. I would have really dug, dug to see him too. I didn't get a chance to meet him, ah. unfortunately. But yeah, that was a uh, that would have been really cool. He wasn't there at all when you were there. Um, no. So ah. they could have possibly he could have he could have been in a trailer. Who right. knows? Um, yeah. That's probably the best part of working on a movie like that. Getting the, you know, I, I mean, I, I, my mind would be blown. You know what I mean? I don't think I could concentrate. <laughs> did I ask you? Did you have a line, or were you just like in the background? Uh, no, no, no lines. No they didn't give me part. any lines. Um, so no, no speaking. Right. Um, but they had a, they got a real cool close up shot of me. Um, that follows a line of dialogue from the main actor, the actress. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like you is I want to say it's midway through the film and she's there like scouting the crowd looking for certain people and then they have a, a close-up shot of me um and it's, nice. it's, it's, it's yeah midway through the film so yeah your family must be uh like ecstatic or whatever you know what I mean yeah yeah it was definitely very cool F friends and family um you know support me whenever I get to do things like this so oh, I, I, I would be able to stop bragging <laughs> you know what I mean? What's that? I wouldn't be able to stop bragging. You know, I'm in the movie. <laughs> Come see yeah. it. Did you did you get to see it? How'd it turn out? Like the whole movie? Um, I, did, um, I, I saw I saw almost all of the whole movie. I didn't get a chance to finish it. Um, I wanna say um we watched it um on Father's Day, which I think did fall on the day of Juneteenth. Um so we did have a lot yeah. going on, but that was really cool for me to have that playing in the background. Um, me and my brothers went to Ohio to visit our dad and surprise him. So, um, you know, just to have something to do at the house while we right. were waiting. Hey, um, I was just on this film that just released. Um, you know, the, it, it's been promoted uh, about this holiday. So why not? Let's check this out. Um, you know, casually, of course. I didn't want to say, hey, check out my new film, this, that, or whatever. <laughs> um, but that was really cool. So we, yep, my my brothers kept um, some of them. I I, I have co quite a few brothers. Um, I had a couple that spotted me right away, and then another. I had to of course go and rewind the scene and say, "Hey, that's me." You know, with everything that's going on. That was really nice. cool, and it's good to see their reactions and everything. That was great. That's something I've always wanted. So that's good. I'm really I'm really glad for you, man. That's really really cool. I can't tell you because you know no matter what, if you don't have it. It doesn't matter if you don't have a speaking part. You're in the movie. You're in yeah. it. I'm not. I'm yeah. not in it. You are. That's that's really yeah. cool. Your connection again. Yeah. Um, you know, what for you is for you. So at that point, I was blessed to be, you know, seen. Um, there's not many movies that I can get to see myself on. And then to have the to see that in the in the on the big screen in theaters. I have that's what you have that. to um, that's, so. that's I'm still having a little trouble. Can you, can you fix it? Um, 
How come it didn't go to a lot of theaters? Why'd they go that way? On that. I don't want to misquote the, the number of games. He's, he's I wonder if it's because he said, yeah. You probably have the same Wi Fi I got. Yeah. Um, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, there you you're are. coming through perfect, fine. Perfect, perfect. I got you now. Yeah. I didn't yeah. hear the, the last uh, what you said. If you want to repeat it, um, I don't know the. I don't recall the amount of theaters it went to nationally. Um, I, I want to say it did go internationally as well, but right. Um, I'm not sure. Right. Yep, but you know it. Um, it was in theaters, and then it was also available on BET Plus, and it still is now. Um, right. And you said yep, iTunes? Yep. And then, yep, now even iTunes. Okay. Like maybe uh, on demand on uh, on cable, maybe? Um, Probably. I think it might direct you to, yeah, I think if you can, um, I, perhaps, perhaps. Um, I yeah. know if you, if you, it came up on Amazon for me when I searched for it. Okay. Did they, I, I asked you, but then you cut out, did they say why it didn't go to like, you know, like a, like no, a big... I, nope. I, I never. I didn't catch that. I didn't. Um, nope. I'm not. I'm not sure. I would have liked to see that. You know. I mean, I don't yeah. think there was anything else coming out on Father's Day. You know what I mean? So that that would have been like a perfect weekend. Yeah. It, you know, Top Gun was over. Well, Jurassic yeah. Park was out, but you know, whatever. I was gonna say, yeah, Jurassic Park did come out um, around that time, but yeah, like um, the week before. But so what? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's everybody has their own little corner. You know what I mean? Yep. So, all right. But hey, um, just because just because the way it was released doesn't mean it can't gain uh, more recognition later. So you're absolutely you right. Know. Yeah. What about yeah. It, like a like a DVD? Are they selling like a DVD? I think it is on Blu-ray. I think you can on get Blu -ray, it on Blu-ray right. now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Before you go, you want to say anything else? Um, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. It. Listen, yeah, do um, me a go favor. On. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, um, anyone that's watching, go ahead and check out the film Black Fa Black Party. Black Party, right? Um, yeah. Not Dave Chappelle's Black Party. No. Just <laughs> that was a while ago. It's a very colorful film, very modern. Um, it's such a fun film. It, you can only feel good watching it, even if it has strong emotional scenes. Uh, I I can't see someone watching this movie and not smiling all the way yeah. throughout. So, all right, cool. Just just do me one favor. Yeah, yeah. When you get big, I didn't say if, but when you get big, try not to forget me. Come back. Oh, <laughs> oh, always, <laughs> always. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. It was it was really a pleasure. It was really nice speaking to you, sir. Thanks yeah, a million. Anytime. Be You're good. Welcome. Thank you. All right. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.